this is curb now one thing that's a little tricky and and the map is not the territory as i often preach a lot of people say what do you mean by the map is not the territory well i can show you something but when you go to do it sometimes you find out that it's a little bit different in real life in this particular case this stock was showing some trading that happened before it actually came public on a couple of platforms and sometimes these platforms get their data from the same place but it seems like the real ipo was on october 1st with this one okay so bar one bar two bar three bar four okay and then this one triggered on bar five it had okay range not huge range but okay it ran from what 19 to 24 it's like a 25 percent 30 percent range that's okay so the buy would be on that day there. Now, and uh, I apologize if I have the name wrong. Mays uh, was saying that uh, this is Estonia checking in, that he bought it at 2383, and he had asked earlier about a stop, and I said, yeah, a two point stop would probably be adequate for something like this. And then he was asking about stop placement. So he said that it, his trigger, he went long at 23.83, stop at 21.83, two points below his entry. And then when it hit the high, he raised the stop to 22.83, he raised the stop a point. And then it closed at 24 that day, and then he stopped out at a loss, at uh, about a one point loss. So his entry was here, his original stop was down here. So that's two points. Now, when it made this intraday high, he brought his stop up a point, and then he got stopped out. Now, without picking apart what he did, let me go through the money management real quick. You want to put on 100% of the attended, intended position all at once okay so we're not scaling in if we're going in with 100 shares we buy 100 shares all at once we're going a thousand shares we buy a thousand shares all at once and then we look to flip out i think we had 2,000 shares of that uh clove if memory serves so we sold what we sold half at the initial profit target so the official buy be it on this one was on that day so you would buy on that day by the way what's the story fat of glory this is a reach you know, it's kind of, I know REITs have, got, REITs have, I know I just said that REITs are becoming more of the momentum stocks now, and maybe they will because the real estate seems to be going through the roof. But in a case like this, it's kind of like the academy. I would wait for that first pullback, which we're having now. I'd actually like to see a slightly deeper pullback on this one. And then I might consider it as a secondary type of setup. But if I'm going to get in a pioneer setup, meaning getting in early on an IPO, I'd like to see some sort of enthusiasm, which is my second favorite asm, by the way. In case you were wondering, my number one favorite asm would be sarcasm, of course. Anyway, you put on 100% of the position, and as a general statement, you want to raise your protective stop on a one-for-one -one closing basis. So if it goes up a half a point, then you bring up the stop a half a point. That's before your initial profit target is hit. What I have done in more recent years, I'm slightly more lenient on that first tranche or loaf, however you want to look at it, where if it goes up just a few cents, I'm not going to bring that stop up a few cents. But if it goes up a point, I'll probably bring it up a point below. But on other days, when it just goes up a few cents here and there, I'll play that keep the change game that we do with the longer term trend following, where if it goes up just a little bit, we'll just leave our stop where it is, thereby letting it widen now. But as a general statement, the official rules or a one for one basis when you first get into position. So if it closes one point higher, again, you bring up that stop one more point, one point from where you started. And again, I've become a little bit more lenient in recent times. And the more lenient you are with your stops, by the way, the better your chances are of catching a trend. But obviously, when it doesn't work, the more money you lose when it doesn't work. Now, when or if, I should say, the initial profit target is hit, you want to immediately sell half of your shares, okay? And then you want to break, bring your stop up to break even intraday. 
So what Mays did was he, on that spike higher, he brought a stop up, okay? And we're only adjusting stops on a closing basis because we're we're longer term, well, we hope to be longer term trend followers. Yeah, we're shorter term traders when we get into the trade, but we want to stick with position for years and years and years and years. And occasionally, occasionally, we're able to do that. So we're not really worried about the intraday zigs and zags. And the problem with that, if you do adjust your stops on the intraday zigs and zags, what will probably happen, which happened to this gentleman, was that he got stopped out. And that's one thing you got to be careful. You can't really put an automated trailing stop in unless you're looking to take profits because a spike up will spike your stop up and then you'll likely get stopped out. So you see right here, we have a little bit of a, I'm getting some love on Facebook. That's I've never got any love on uh, of YouTube. <laughs> so right here, you can see he got in right here, okay, day six, and then we have a higher close. So you would take the distance from his entry to this close, and that's how far you would bring that stop up, okay? You would bring it up a like amount. Now, the next day, if it goes up, let's say a half a point, you bring this up a half a point and keep doing that okay unless you're stopped out or you hit the ipt now let's assume for argument purposes that the ipt was up here and then the stock rallied to the ipt now when that happens you immediately bring your stop up to break even and the idea there is to free roll so to speak and hopefully stay with the position for a long long time same thing i do with crypto with a 20 percent IPT. So what was that one I showed earlier? ACX, I think. If that one keeps on keeping on, then we'll take initial profits. We'll get our stuff to break even. And we'll sit in it for hopefully a long, long, long time. 